with Warner Brothers Discovery cutting way back on animation and HBO Max pulling their own shows from the service. Any cartoon that survived the purge has to be great, right? Fred's a rich white guy with a tiny dong. Right? It has something to do with drugs, which I hate. Right? I spit truth without a filter, like every comedian before hashtag me too. Help me. Velma. If you love revisiting your favorite childhood cartoon. Jinkies. But also hated everything about it. Hello, friends. My name is Fred. Then strap in for a series dripping with contempt for the audience and the source material. There's no world where I'm ever solving a mystery in an abandoned amusement park. That crams nonstop quips about these days under a Scooby-Doo shaped mask. He looks like Hitler. And not just because we compare everyone to Hitler these days. Sorry I'm not a drunk on the verge of losing custody like every other woman solving murders these days. Yes, but you hurt her feelings, which is way worse these days. And they would have gotten away with it too. But in this day and age, comedy equals issue plus reference. In this day and age, you can't speculate about someone's sexuality unless they're famous or peppermint patty. Funny. Before she was the brains behind the Scooby gang, Velma Dinkley was just an everyday mean. <coughs> a white girl with too much money. Disgusting. Now I have to pee in the shower at school like a weirdo. Stupid. You talked me out of my flat earth face. Insensitive. Now you have Gigi to talk about boring stuff like your swords and feelings. Unreasonable. My fault? Nothing is ever my fault. Self-hating. Like the dessert course at an Indian restaurant. Just forget it. Horn dog in love with a white bully who treats her like sh I mean, sure, if someone was like, want to see a naked picture of Fred, I'd be like, hubba hubba. Like if your typical Mindy Kaling creation was a more overt cry for help. Ah! I so help you. We don't have to break up now, Ryan. Ah, ah, ah. Follow along on needlessly complicated, season-long, overlapping mysteries. Norval and I are pretending to be Amanda's parents for the next 32 hours to help my mom remember who took her in the brains before he strikes again. About Velma's desperate search for her missing mom, a killer, the source of her hallucinations, her friend's birth parents, her own sexuality, and any part of Scooby-Doo's corpse they haven't already pissed on. What are we selling? Zoinks, jeepers, mystery machine, and of course, g g g g ganja Funny. That's all just a frame work for jokes that sound like an AI mixed family guy with blue check Twitter and somehow didn't kill itself. Damn, Dilf City. Oh, I am so posting that. Does no one read my blog? Gigi's Juicy Journey? Please update your status to loser across all social platforms. Hashtag Frafni is the top trending story. You placed your hand on your verified check mark and everything. Welcome back all your favorite things from Scooby-Doo, except for Scooby-Doo. Scooby. What did Scooby do? Or the mystery machine. Now get in this mystery, jalopy. Or Shaggy. Now he's Norval, a do-gooding sim. I'm simping for myself. Funny. Fred is back as a poster boy for white privilege. Is it funny? Women make 20% less than men, and women of color even less? <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Funny. And Daphne. She's messed up. My mom's loved my impression of my Aunt Cindy. I'm sad my husband died. Funny. In a show that takes its diverse and talented cast and makes them all cycle between extremely mean and extremely horny. Whatever gets the writers to their lunch break sooner. Or just make Velma grunt. That works too. Good enough. <sighs> Have you ever noticed how TV shows can be bad and formulaic? Well, Velma does. Have you ever noticed how pilot episodes of TV shows always have more gratuitous sex and nudity than the rest of the series? Constantly. According to TV, it's morally okay to deal drugs. On TV shows, the malt shop owner is always a friendly black man or a spicy and meatball Italian. That the kids in every teen show ever can get through a brush with a deranged serial killer? In teen movies, whenever a girl needs money, a guy sells something and then blackmails the girl in the day him for it. Norville helped me get over them in the last episode of my hallucinations. In a series that may not have too many actual jokes, but dang, if they can't pull out some extremely stale references. This is exactly what happened to my vlog about Lil Wayne. Sorry, Howie Mandel. Easy, Dr. Phil. Look for the stone that is as perfect as Woody Allen and Mia Farrow's marriage. Damn, this makes me think I could bag Don Lemon. Or do nods to other TV writers that will delight everyone from Burbank to North Hollywood. After hearing that, I not only only feel emotionally hooked, I understand the stakes of your journey. Who is this for? So suffer through a show that manages to somehow make fun of and exemplify wokeness. We just learned someone somewhere is being intolerant. <laughs> 
and still comes off as kind of racist. Velma and Norville can look after their daughter themselves. Right, Norville? <coughs> Norville? And wants Zero to do with the source material because it's been done better a million times already. But if you're wondering why they made this show in particular, just remember the old internet rule. If you can't tell what the target of the jokes are, it's you for watching it. You know what 420 is, right? Um, yeah. It's code for adults who still watch cartoons. Funny. Scooby-Dooby-Doo, where are you? The dogs know where to be found. Scooby-Dooby-Doo, where are you? Velma had him put down. You know that HBO is cutting shows, but somehow Velma dodged the ass. Don't come back. In this cartoon, the point of view is mean and shrill, and all the jokes are hack. That's a fact. This cartoon network's through. Slashed into, they canceled all the wrong shows. Scooby Dooby Doo, this is Clue. Velma s the dog's balls. Starring Ginger Snaps, The Fred System, Flaunt Cash, Relish and Adoration, Evade Sex, Deceive and Move On. It wasn't me. It's weird that there are no mainstream pop culture references we can use for Russell Peters, because he sells out stadiums all the time. But here we are. The Millionaire and His Wife. Brooklyn 69. Not it. And Encyclopedia Frown. What no? Hey, if your friend is having a panic attack, don't try to help them by kissing them. Especially if you've never kissed them before and don't know if they'd be into that. Honestly, can't even believe I'm having to say this out loud. Like, you almost made me use 1% of my power, man. <laughs> I did not buy her. I did not. Oh, hi, Fred. Would you do it for a Scooby Snack? Would you do it for two Scooby Snacks? Yeah, Scooby Snack. <laughs>